Hi guys, uh, in this video I will talk about mathematical fonts in LaTeX. To give you some examples, I created a table. In this table, sample column show how it looks like when you use the LaTeX code in the comment column. In the first row, uh, you can see how we generally use mathematical equations in LaTeX. Basically, we are writing our equation between two dollar signs. In this case, the letters are italic, but not the numbers. In fact, the numbers look like as they are in the text mode. If you want to make your numbers look different, then you can use math normal comment as in the second row. Uh, also, you may want to make your number bold. In this case, you can use math bold uh, comment as in the third row. Not only the numbers, but uh, letters also will be bold if you use this comment. Of course, to be able to use it, a uh, fixed math package is required. Also, uh, you may want to use your uh, numbers as italic. To do that, you can use math it comment as in the fourth row. You can see all uh, how they look like uh, for these four different uh, ways of writing and mathematical equation in LaTeX. Now let's look at the uh, next row, the fifth row. In this case, uh, we have maths RM commands, which corresponds to the Roman uh, font in math environment. You can see that the letters are not italic. In this case, the uh, letters are in Roman font. In the sixth row, uh, similar to the fifth one, we are using a command called mathsf, uh, which corresponds to the sans serif font. And in the seventh row, we are using a mathfrag command, which corresponds to the fractal font. And for that, msf font package is required. And you can see how these uh, fonts look like by looking at the sample column. In the last two columns, yeah, sorry, in the last two rows, uh, I show two different uh, fonts. And the first one is calligraphic and the second one is blackboard bold. In the calligraphic mode, uh, you can only use it for capital letters. So you cannot use them for uh, lowercase letters or the numbers. Also, it's the same for blackboard uh, bold font. And for these fonts, we can use math called command for the calligraphic one. And we can use math pb command for the blackboard bold fonts. And to be able to use math pb commands, uh, again, MSF fonts package is required. So this table just summarizes uh, some mathematical fonts in LaTeX. Now let me show you some examples by typing uh, on the LaTeX document. First, I want to show how numbers look different in uh, the first four rows. To do that, let's count. Uh, first, I am writing one in text mode, then I am writing in uh, as in the first row, and here I am using math normal comment, then math ball comment, and lastly math IT comment, and this. I just used uh, number one. If you look at it, the first uh, two row, two ones look exactly the same because it doesn't matter whether you are using uh, a number between two dollar signs or not. But if you are using math normal command, the one is smaller, the height. And if you are using math bold, you are just making the one in math normal uh, bold. 
And lastly, if you are using math IT command, then basically we are writing uh, one italic, but the height is uh, larger than the previous one. To show you, uh, you can also use text IT and you can write one. Let's wait for it. And as you can see, they look exactly the same with math IT. So uh, if you just want to make your numbers look different, then you can you just need to use math normal or math mode. Let's also try it with a different number, for example, three and see the differences between commands. Again, the first two are the same and third and fourth one are different and last two are the same as well. So I just show the differences between uh, the first rows. And I don't wanna show the, uh, the other phones because you can see how they look like from the table. Uh, I think that's all for this video. Uh, if you have any questions, please leave a comment and thank you for watching.